Well, 80% of you watching us right now are likely using your phone as well. We want you to set it aside just for a few minutes because those phones could be elongating your eyeballs and actually hurting your future. Stacy Case shows us how. We ask a lot of our eyes each day. And most of us never think about how hard our phones are on them. And which is better? Neither did One, mom, Anna Martinez. Started seeing her grades fall down, especially when she was in kindergarten. I can't see far distance. It's kind of blurry. As soon as we got the glasses, her grades came up. Myopia, what Mariah has, also known as nearsightedness, has doubled with this generation. More kids, younger kids, all needing, you guessed it, glasses. You go to restaurant, everyone's looking at this. You go to a dinner, everybody's looking at this. You go to a public place, everybody's looking at this. And you say, that dramatic change of behavior must have some consequence. Many studies show it does, affecting half of young adults in the U.S. and Europe, twice as many than 50 years ago. That's really a large amount of people. And it's going to even get worse and worse as the more they're on their gadgets. Having the world at your fingertips, research estimates show, will mean a third of the world will have myopia by 2020, about 2.5 billion people. One of the world's leading myopia researchers, Australia's Dr. Padmaya Sangurderg, says we're on a path toward a myopia epidemic. The school started seeing more kids needing glasses. So we don't really know what the end result will be. It's absolutely true. We're only beginning to see the tip of iceberg. The closer we hold it, the more our eyes have to work to maintain that fixed focal length and the more damage we can cause. Doctors say just like any part of the body we overuse, it can wear out. Researchers say the eye actually starts to change shape, to grow, elongating when we constantly focus on near objects. This structural change, which stretches the retina, makes you more at risk for retinal detachment later in life and glaucoma. For middle-aged people, this practice can also speed up presbyopia, where you suddenly can't read things close up. So light comes in. If the lens cannot change shape, it cannot focus, focus light onto the retina. An easy solution is to adopt the 20-20-20 eye care habit. Meaning 20 minutes of close work with cell phone or computer, take a break for 20 seconds, looking at, look at an object, a tree or something, at least 20 feet away. It's really important because I, I don't want to be like Helen Keller, where I can't see nothing, I have to touch walls. Not much payoff, it seems, focusing on your phone for hours at a time. Although... Yes, it'll be more money for ophthalmologists and optometrists. <laughs> Kind of scary, isn't it? Well, yeah, life has changed as a result of those things. Definitely. I mean, the physical changes are coming, sounds like.